Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to quickly add to cart button Shopify DOM theme. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. I am going to show you how effective it is and also how simple it is to add a add to cart or a quick add to cart button into the featured collection on your Shopify page or product page or any uh, page. Uh, also, you can go ahead and do that on the home page. So it is very easy, very simple. This method is going to be used for quickly adding to cart some products that the uh, customers have saw and caught their attention so they can quickly add it to the cart and continue to see the different uh, product that your, your store has. So this is a very uh, and also a high converting method for buying stuffs and also incite people to quickly make some decisions. So now we are going to head over Shopify and we are going simply to uh, connect or sign in into our account. Now we are going to visit the sales channels under the Shopify store. We are going to click on it. Then we are going to select the first thing, which is going to be our theme. So click on themes and make sure that you are going to uh, select the DOM theme. In our case, it is our current theme. This method will work on any type of theme or any other theme that you can choose from the theme library. But in our case, we are going simply to use it into the DOM theme. So we are going to click on customize. I'm going to open that right there. Uh, or customize button into another page right here. So before setting up the customization to our theme, we're going simply to head over here and see if we have some products. So this method will only work if you have added some products and also some uh, collections. So let's go ahead and see here the collections. We can see that we have created some collections and we have also plenty of products. And this is a good sign. So we can go ahead and move forward to the next step, which is head in here to the uh, home page, as you can see. And this method could be here set for the collection page, the product page, and also the uh, all the pages that you want. So we are here on the home page. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a featured collection. So as you can see here, we have featured collections here. So here we have the featured collection. This is the grid number one. And this is an Instagram feed. This is the grid number two of featured collection and etc. So how we can add the featured collection grid. So we are going simply to head over the uh, template under the header. And from here, we are going to see here add section. We're going to click on add section. And from here, you are going to see featured product and featured collection. Obviously, we are going to add a featured collection. I'm going to start this from the scratch. So we are going to see the title, which is featured collection. You can go ahead and delete it or uh, uh, make it, for example, something better. You can go ahead and set up the sizing of the header to something even more smaller or bigger. For the description, you can connect it to a dynamic source or you can also uh, describe right there the collection. Now for here, we are going to see the description style. You can go ahead and set it as body, subtitle or uppercase. Now for the collection, we are going to select the product. So we have created a collection or you can go ahead and create another collection from here. It will let you see here or set up the image of the collection put a title, a description, and add the uh, product here manually. For example, we are going to add here winter collection, for example, like that. And for a description of it, we are going to add it here. The collection type, you are going to add it as manual. And now we are going to add the different product that we want. So maybe you are going to add this one, that, that, and this one click on add here we have added four we're going to click on save boom now we are going simply to uh, add here the collection so we are going to reload our page 
and from there we're going to restart or make uh, the continuation of the process so obviously it will be here the last one we're going to see it right there i think it is added where is it so obviously it didn't save so we are going to add it here from scratch again i'm going to click on it here we are going to add up here the uh, bold to the uh, heading now we are going simply to click on select collection again here we have the uh, winter collection and from here you can go ahead and maximize or uh, put a limit to the maximum product to show also the number of column on the desktop here depending on the products that you have selected it will be showing here the grid now for the uh, as you can see here uh the product part which are these i'm going to skip this part for the view all adapt to image so we are going to select them to square to perfectly be even uh, if you set them as portrait you're going to see them as vertical as possible but here square is better than adapt to image since it is we have some vertical horizontal squares so we are going to put here a unique form for them now for the view all style you're going to see them right there. We can have solid buttons, outline buttons, for example, and also some links. You can enable the uh, desktop or the cursor on desktop. Also, you can change the color scheme from the theme. And here we have the image shape. You can go ahead and set the image shape, for example, to diamond, uh, here arc, uh, or blob, or set it as a default now how we can add the uh, quickly add to cart button so we are going to see a section that is going right there to be quick add so as you can see bulk is optimized which is this for item purchased in higher quantities so quick to add here we have none so when you click on standard or bulk it will sh here show up a list of buttons i'm going to click on change to standard and boom here we have add to cart add to cart and add to cart with the bulk also you can go ahead and set up the quantity of the product so the more quantities you are going to select the more you are going to add it to your cart i'm going to set it here as standard and this is our add to cart button now i'm going to add this uh, simple or the same method to the a previous right there uh, collection or featured collection you're going to see here a little bit of difference because in some cases or in some products we have some let's say here varieties and also some specific uh, variants uh, also options i'm going to select another one or a featured uh, right there from here maybe this one this is the first one here so we are going to click on featured collection then we are going to scroll down until we see here the product card and under that we are going to see quick add we're going to add standard and you are going to see here that something is different and here we have some add to cart sold out labels and shoes option so for the shoes option it is going to be here the divided to different options or we have a some kind of options or variation for that product for example if we click on shoes option it will show up here the colors or the different variant of that product for example here we have different ones also we have some capacities and then you can go ahead and add a quantity like that and add it to the card as quick as possible for this one, which is going to be here with a no variation and no option, you can go ahead and click on add to cart. It will be added automatically to that cart. And for this one, I'm going to let it see here that we can add it here quickly. Add to cart and boom, we are going to get the same result. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.